Here we go. All ones. All right, we're gonna make some sticky chicken today. You'll need some chicken. I got chicken thighs. You wanna use a dark meat on this? This is bell pepper and celery. You'll see why I have it separated later in the video from my onion. I used one whole white onion or you can use two yellow onions, butter, salt. If you're using Tony Saturays, don't use that. It's pretty much just salt. Garlic, I got about that much garlic in there. My homemade Cajun seasoning. Back there I got some, about two cups of chicken broth. Then you'll need some flour. Then a good pot. I'm using my mag light. I had a time travel back to the 60s to get. All right, I'll come back when we get started cooking. All right, first you're gonna want to season your chicken. Make sure you wash it first, because you don't want that chicken funk. I'm just using my Cajun seasoning here. I think I actually get it out of the, kind of rub it in some. It's never too much seasoning, because you want some flavor in your food. Right, flip it over. Season the other side. You know, I'm just gonna go with the other side. There we go. <laughs> that was okay. There might be something. It's too much. <laughs> Maybe I lied. Can I get some of this seasoning from the plate I spilt everywhere? Take a whisk or whatever this thing's called, sifter. Kind of sift in some flour. If you get too much on there, you can kind of shake it off. It's not a big deal. Kind of like that. And same thing with the seasoning. Flip it over and do the other side. Flip it back over. See? Not too much on there. Shake it off a bit. Make a mess with it. Alright, now you throw in your butter. Now, I forgot to put the butter in my pocket. Get it down to room temperature. So, I might have to see how quick this actually takes. Uh, what you want to use a butter in this is you're not making a roux. Sometimes I make a roux with butter, sometimes I don't, but it'll add a little bit more richness to your uh, dish. So I'll come back when the butter's melted. All right, now our grease is heated up. Grease butter is greased up. We throw in our meat. I'm just going to kind of put a brown on there. It might be not quite up to temperature yet. And it's starting to sizzle. I think we're good. All we're trying to do right here is to get a little bit of browning on that. Really get a good look here. So you're going to want to flip it. I don't know why I'm using this. I got tongs. So maybe do about maybe five minutes a side if that. I'll come back in about five minutes and show you show you what this looks like after both sides have cooked. All right, we've got this going for a few minutes. See, we're starting to get some browning in that. Uh, you should probably look through the camera so I can see where this is at. See, we're starting to get a little a little brown on there. This is just going to add flavor to everything when we saute our vegetables. Flip them over, see how it's getting a little golden brown. You don't have to cook them all the way through because they'll cook later. This is just adding a little bit of flavor, getting that uh, seasoning cooked in. The big thing is getting that browning, so when you make the gravy, you'll add a lot of that chicken flavor to it. So, yeah, we'll let this side brown a little bit, then we'll come back. Yeah, right, now that we got them brown, we'll let that one go a little bit longer. Oh, that one looks good. 
So you want to get the juices out of the meat to add flavor, like I said before. You're not really, this isn't really for cooking it, it's to add browning to your uh, fish. You see all that brown that's stuck to the bottom? That's flavor. You want to keep that. So now, we add our onion. One of the things about why you have so much onion compared to normal Trinity is you want to get those natural sugars out of the onion. And they'll add a sweetness to this dish that you wouldn't find in like a, say, a uh, chicken fricassee or a chicken stew kind of dish. So, you see, you can already see the browning in that. You're going to want to really, really, really cut down these onions to get all those sugars out. That's why we're putting them in now. We have the bell pepper and celery separated. Because we're not going to have to cook the celery and bell pepper quite as long as the onion. This will also deglaze your pot. So you see how that browning is coming off the bottom? So as these cook, it'll deglaze and get more of that flavor from the uh, chicken that was stuck to it. When you buy that stuff in the market, that browning sauce, that's what it is. Is that stuff that gets all that meat uh, flavor that gets stuck to the bottom of the pan. So I'll cut down these onions and I'll come back and show you what they look like when they're completely done. See how they're very caramelized and all those sugars have been cooked out? And that browning sauce, or that browning has come off the bottom of the pan. Now we're ready to throw in the rest of our veggies. So as, as always, don't throw your garlic in until very last. Otherwise, you'll burn it and the garlic will turn bitter. So you want to, once these uh, bell peppers, I'm going to do this so I can get two hands on here. Once the bell pepper and celery cooks down or is almost done, I'm going to throw in the garlic. Speaking of which, I better grab my garlic press. You guys watch that a bit. There we go. Yeah, I'll let that cook down when I come back and throw the garlic in. All right, now we're almost, it's almost cooked down pretty good. Stir this so you guys can see it. So you see how the, those onions have cooked down even more? That's what you want, because you need that sugar. Some people actually just put straight sugar in this, but I don't like doing that. I like to use natural sugars and do it properly. I mean, really, it's not really proper. It's just do it the way you want, really. So that was about five cloves of garlic. Let me get the other side out. I don't know why everybody complains about having hands that smell like garlic. I like the smell of garlic. I wouldn't wear it as a clone or anything, but... So you really just want to cook, start cooking this until you start smelling garlic. Just until the garlic's cooked. Kind of break up the chunks of it so it kind of spreads around. Now that really matters. There's going to be chicken broth in here, so it'll get, it'll get mixed around anyway, but... It's something I like to do. I got asked a lot why I'm adding cooking videos to my nerd videos. And it's like, hey, nerds got to eat when you're playing some D&D. You got to feed the crowd. That's a whole, whole group of people you got to feed. I actually cook for my Shadowrun group. And uh, they always love it. They're the ones that really made me do these cooking videos. All right, so that garlic is done. I'm going to get this, get this guy out of the way. And we're going to add our chicken back in. And do not leave that stuff out. I think it's three. 
if you want some healthy eating, this is not the channel for you. All right. Now that we broke up all the stuff on the bottom, we just kind of cover this up with chicken, chicken stock. Yeah, I estimated that about right. I never normally measure anything. I just grab the chicken stock and throw in there. So we just want to cover this up. And I also want to make sure I get all that browning off the bottom. So then I'm going to add some salt. I haven't added any salt yet. That's probably about a tablespoon right there. And then we bring this up to a boil. When this starts boiling, I'll come back to you. So now that we got it to a boil, I'm currently cooking it on about a medium heat. I'm gonna give it a good stir. Then we're gonna do what the French call smothering. So we've got our gravy here. I'm gonna make sure all these, all that gets good down in there. And we just put the lid on it. We're going to let it cook for probably two hours, then take the lid off and let it uh, cook off some of the liquid later. And I'll come back when I sh uh, and show you how I do that. So I forgot to mention, once you get it up to a boil, you want to turn it down to a simmer heat. And you just want it about like this before you put your lid back on. Make sure you really stir it, make sure nothing's stuck to the bottom. And put your lid back on and just let it let it sit there and kind of do its thing for about two hours. Alright, so it's been probably about an hour. See, I can actually lower that down just a little bit. But every once in a while, maybe every 30 minutes or so, you want to come in and just make sure it's not sticking to the bottom. You see how it's starting to kind of thicken up? That's the from the flour we had put on the chicken. That'll act as a thickening agent for your gravy. And you'll see what, what I'll do with that a little later in the video. All right, so it has been two hours, probably about an hour and a half, but I'm gonna take the lid off. And what you're gonna wanna do is to check to see how thick the gravy is. If it's not thick enough, you're going to have to wait a little while. And you see how there's not, not that much oil on the top, despite me putting it back in. So, flip that one back over. Oh no, the skin came off. Alright. So, yeah, it's a little, it's a little thin for my taste. So, I'm going to let it go for probably another hour with the lid off. And this will let a lot of the moisture cook out of it and thicken up the uh, the gravy there and make it more of a gravy. All right, we are just about there. See, now I've reduced this down a bit. You can actually kind of see a little bit of the grease in there. We can take it off or leave it. I'd, depends upon my mood, I do either one. Right now what I'm doing is I'm gonna wait for this to Make sure none of the, uh, what's it called, stuff sticking to the bottom. I've been drinking too many beers. And over here, i got some rice going. I'm going to serve this over rice. So you can kind of see how thick that uh, gravy's gotten. All right. Let's get a real good look at this. So uh, this is our sticky chicken. We're gonna serve this over rice. See how it thickened up quite a bit for me uh, cooking it down, reducing it. It also int intensifies the flavor. Yeah. Over here, we got some rice. And uh, let me figure this out real quick. Let's down over here and let's make a plate.
You want to use a long grain rice, not a balsamic rice. I probably should have cooked this a little longer, but I've been drinking. And not a short or mid grain uh, rice. Let's get this chicken on there. And you get the gravy. Cover that in gravy. There you go. Let's do a little taste test while we're here. If I can find any kind of silverware. Looks like I got this one. Also, you want to make sure that your meat will just fall apart. See that? See that cut? That's with a spoon. There we go. Get some of that gravy in there. Mmm. A little hot, but no. Mm. Is that good? Like perfect. Put a little bit more gravy on there. Man. All right. You guys have a good night and hopefully make some sticky chicken.